This Basudi, called as the Antarala Parshvanath Basudi, is similar to others because it has a Garbhagraha, a Sukhanasi or vestibule, a Navaranga and a porch. However, you will see that the outer walls of this structure are beautifully decorated. The doorway is lofty. The Navaranga and the porch have verandas on either side. Notice the pillars inside. They are the signature Ganga period round pillars and bear the mouldings of bells, vases and wheels. The image of Parshvanatha here is almost 18 feet tall. As you exit from Parshvanatha Basadi, you can see a Manastamba. This pillar was commissioned by a Jain merchant named Puttaya between 1672 and 1704 AD. The pavilion at the top displays standing Jinnah figures facing the four directions. The base of the pillar also bears sculptures all around. It has the figure of Padmavati on the south, Yaksha on the east, seated Kushmandini on the north and a galloping horseman on the west. Our next stop is at Kattale Basadi, so called because of the poor lighting present there. Since it is the last Basadi of importance, here on Chandragiri, let us go there now. <laughs>